is the state will not be calling any more witnesses. It will now be the defense's turn to call any witnesses. If they don't have any, closing arguments can begin. Today, we heard from three state crime lab experts. Each of them talked about a piece of evidence to connect Zachary Hawley to Jersey Bridgman's rape and murder. This is a sketch of the state's first witness of the day. She is a lab examiner at the crime lab who worked on this case. She concluded that the pajama shirt Jersey Bridgman wore the night she was murdered had her blood on it and Zachary Hawley's semen. The next witness is the crime lab's chief forensic DNA examiner. She said a swab test found semen in Jersey's vagina and rectum. While she said it is near impossible to say with scientific certainty that it was Holly's, there was only a 1 in 270,000 chance a man would match that sample, and Holly matched. Finally, the state called the crime lab's associate medical examiner. He showed the jury pictures of the trauma to Jersey's vagina that he says proves she was penetrated. At the conclusion of those testimonies, plus yesterday's from the Bentonville Police Department, officers, and detectives, the state has rested its case. And that trial is set to resume again tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Let's go ahead and wrap up everything that we know tonight that's new. The state has rested its case against Zachary Hawley. The defense will begin calling any witnesses they may have tomorrow. Hawley is facing four charges, burglary, kidnapping, rape, and murder. The prosecution is seeking the death penalty if he is convicted. Reporting live in Bentonville, I'm Kelly Johnson, 4029 News. Thank you, Kelly. And we'll check back in with you later in the broadcast to find out who was in court and who makes up the jury in this case.